Hello, and welcome to another Geek Moment. Today I'll be discussing the new Zigbee Cloud Kit from Digi International. More and more engineers are migrating to some sort of cloud-based platform for their monitoring and control applications. But creating a cloud-connected solution can be extremely difficult and time-consuming. The learning curve for APIs, programming, hardware and software compatibility, and regulatory licensing can be quite daunting. It's quite common for an engineer to spend weeks and even months just to get a basic prototype up and running. But thankfully, using the new Zigbee Cloud Kit, you can cut that development time down into a matter of minutes. Let's take a look and see what comes with this kit. The Zigbee Development Kit comes complete with the XB Development Board, an XB Radio, Ethernet and USB cables, a battery holder, a gateway, a power supply for the gateway, resistors, jumper wires, a relay, sensors and FETs, push buttons, and LEDs. But the prototyping hardware doesn't stop with the through-hole components. If you take a closer look at the XB development board, you will see that you also have access to a potentiometer, more push buttons, a breadboard, a slide switch, an LED bar, an audio buzzer, a vibration motor, dip switches, prototyping headers, as well as a three-axis accelerometer. Earlier I stated that you can get your prototype up and running within a matter of minutes. Let's see how fast we can get an application up and running. First you start with the gateway. Apply power to the gateway with the power supply that comes with the kit. The green power LED will light when it's powered. There are two ways to use this gateway. You can either use a hardwired connection using the ethernet cable connected to an internet enabled router, or you can use the Wi-Fi capabilities of the gateway as well. Next, we'll set up the development board. First, you plug in the XB radio into the board, and next, all you do is power it, either via USB or battery power. Once we have the development board and the gateway powered, we simply press the push button on the gateway. This enables access point mode, which remains active for five minutes. What this does is it connects the XB radio to the gateway. And this is indicated by the blinking associate LED on the board. Now to use this kit, you will need a device cloud account. If you don't already have an account set up, go to the URL shown below to register. Registration only takes a few minutes. Once you have an account set up, navigate to the Zigbee Cloud Kit login page, enter in your username and password. Once you are logged in, there are only five simple steps to complete to connect the Zigbee radio and development board to the cloud. Now Nick here at DigiKey has apparently gone missing again. So what we have done is we set up a demo application to try and trap him. Now what we have here is the XB development board mounted on top of the box. The board is powered using the battery pack. The XB radio is connected to the gateway which has an internet connection. We will be using the three-axis accelerometer on the board. As you can see, it's tipped up, which will be feeding us data. When Nick hopefully takes the bait below, he'll trigger the trap. The box will fall on him. The three-axis accelerometer will send us updated data via the cloud, which we will see, and hopefully Nick will be trapped. It smells like beef jerky in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, come to Papa. I think we got him. Help! Help! Oh, this is good. 